And do you know uh, where you were when you wrote the song? Uh, forever? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, it was recently. It was only about a month and a half ago, or a month ago now, because we just recorded it a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. Yeah, um, yeah my, my house. No, but I mean, California. actually, well, what happened maybe? I don't know. Sometimes, um, sometimes songs, you know, lyrics, I, trigger. You know, I can't really place it in terms of what, um, you know, a, a specific moment that inspired it. Um, it's more of a, of a lot of moments, you know, kind of... Um, of the last few years where, you know, I, it, it's also, an, it, you know, an election year in, in America, so there's a lot of tension um, about that. And um, it was just a, 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 it's a song that really is generally about this sort of like keeping the faith idea that, that you know, that um, you have an ideal and that, and that um, keeping faith in it, even though it looks like, everything's going badly or whatever, is really a, a, a sort of um, a, a key element in the ideal coming to pass that there's somehow faith kind of unlocks um, the door yeah. to, to that thing coming, whatever that is. Um, and again, the song is really just that general idea, but it's, you can, you know, you can think about it in terms of, you know, I mean, I'm an Obama supporter, so there's kind of like you know, the whole idea that America has been through a kind of dark time in the last eight years, and that um, the idea that <clears throat> there's sort of a you know new day dawning, you know, a change coming. So it's definitely got that. I mean, you could definitely look at the song in that light, or not, or just small things, you know, or things that are more personal, you know, about just keeping the faith in whatever you're doing. What did you hear from people who listen to the song, and what did they tell you about the song that will? that they picked out themselves? It's mostly joy. It's mostly just a sense of like, wow, um, you know, this is just <clears throat> really cut straight to the core of, of um, how, I, you know, somebody said how I feel or how uh, I would want to express myself about life and my life and how I've, you know, my victories and my things that, and, and for me that have, have worked out for the, for the good and how I had to just, you know, keep with, my ideal and, and, and eventually, even though it looked like crap for a while, eventually it came out. Will this be the new single, do you think? Yeah, that's the yeah. new single now. Um, can you say then, well, uh, just uh, in th 2001, you, well, you, you, you had the hit single Overcome. It was after the, uh, well, the uh, attacks on, the, on New York, for example. Um, can you say that now you also have something that, that, that ticks with time now? I mean, this, this song now with the elections, yeah, I think I'll always think, I, I, like I said, I didn't write it about the election. I wrote it just in the spirit of this idea. But, um, you know, I, I think it'll, because it came out this year, for me, it'll always probably bring up, um, you know, that, that aspect of it. Um, in the same way Overcome wasn't necessarily written about 9-11. It was actually on, a, on the five record that came out, well, one about week a week, after, one yeah. week after. So... Um, yeah, songs are inevitable. It's inevitable that, that they'll, especially ones that have that, you know, that sort of deep feeling, get attached to, you know, the time. Um, and yeah. lightning crash, actually, lightning crashes, for that matter, also happened around the Oklahoma City bombing in, um, in the nine, in the early, mid 90s, where I'm not sure what year that was, but. Um, I think 95, 96. 95, around there, yeah. And, you know, that, that happened to that song, too. I, like I said, I think it's inevitable. It's, it's something that I feel, you know, um, as an artist is actually kind of gratifying in a way. I mean, it's bittersweet because it's, those instances were tragic, but the idea that the song maybe facilitates some expression of healing or, or um, you know, helps people get through it. But isn't that the highest goal that you can achieve? I, I think guess? so. I think as an artist, that's really it. I think... That kind of acceptance is something that's hard to put into words the way it makes you feel. You know, that, you know, here's this song that you, you, know, you sat down in your bedroom and, you know, came up with on your own, and now thousands and thousands of people are experiencing it, something from it that you said there's no way you can even project that that would have happened in your little studio or whatever it is. Yeah. Is there one song that somebody else wrote that you say, well, that's for me the ultimate? song that has that, well, unifying, uh, universal feeling to it? I, you know, I always go back to u two's done so many. I mean, for me, yeah. like, uh, one, or, um, 
I, I love Where the Streets Have No Name. It's, I think it's my favorite all-time song ever. Um, you know, John Lennon's Imagine. Right. Um, ah, there's so many that just, you know, just golden moments in, in rock and roll that, that do that.